I am Patrick. This is Heather. We are here at the Amazing Comic Shop, and this is your new release Wednesday show, your NRW, giving you the NEW for June 13th, 2018. You ready, Heather? You know, I don't think I could say that. NRW bringing the NEW. You know, I'm so excited to say that to make sure I say Okay, anyway, yes, I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do All it. right, this is what's coming out uh, this week in Blu-ray DVD and digital copy. I can only imagine. I can only imagine. Um, was a, so can I. <laughs> was a popular song by the band Mercy Me. It was a best-selling Christian song. Uh, they did, they turned it into a film. It features, uh, what is it about? Uh, lead singer Bart Millard wrote it in only, oh, that, that song was only written in 10 minutes. So now they've made it into a best-selling film. Wow, from a 10-minute song to a, a film. Um, and it was a best-selling Christian song. Um, after his mom walks out, Millard, played by movie newcomer J. Michael Finley, endures years of abuse at the hands of his bitter father, played by Dennis Quaid, and uses magic... Uh, uses magic! Music, I believe it's magic, and I'm Christian. No, that he uses matter. music to escape, and at the age of 18, Millard witnesses the transformative power of his faith when God begins to change his father's heart and heal their father-son relationship. So a father-son film... Um, with God. With God, music, Sorry. Uh, mercy me... Uh, Cloris Leachman and Trace Adkins co-star. It's a little inspirational film if you're if Christian you're, and you're, you're into that into shit, Mercy Me. Right in. Like Dennis Quaid, I like Dennis Quaid. I like Dennis Quaid. I, just, I, so? I will definitely not be even remotely looking at that, but I, you do it. I can only you imagine who are going to be the audience for that film. Um, this film I actually really want to see. Um, and I know <laughs> I'm probably the audience, and she probably thinks I'm probably the audience for this. Love, Simon. <gasps> You know what we didn't do with the on, on the news? Happy Pride, y'all! Yeah, happy Pride, y'all! Woo! I'm just gonna throw unicorns and rainbows, and rainbows and stars and glitter. And stars and glitters all across the screen. everywhere. And here's this quick video of this one. I think you probably saw it on Twitter or whatever, on Instagram. This guy who just, just like, he was walking. Oh, this, yes! The photo that yes. was on me! I remember I you posted that! So now I'm posting it right now. Look at it. Watching it. There it goes. Okay, then are you Pride Month, happy Pride Month. Are you super gay now? Yeah, me too. All right, so let's gay. go. So gay right <laughs> so now. <laughs> so love Simon. Um play uh Simon played by Nick Robinson, who I met at New York Comic Con. Really he's, cool he guy. He seems like such a cool guy. Super cool dude. Um he's a closeted high schooler who falls for an anonymous online pen pal from a school who's also gay. Um, when a black mirror obtains his candid emails and threatens to out him, Simon must figure out how to reveal his sexuality to his friends and family while also attempting to turn his online flirtation into a real life romance. Uh, prolific CW producer Greg Berlanti, who gives us all the awesome CW DC Universe films, well, TV stuff, uh, is behind it. He penned it. And yeah, um, it was really cool. Jennifer Garner's in it, Josh Demel. Um, I wanted to see it. I didn't have time to see it because, you know, I'm always busy. But now I'm definitely going to rent this. I, this, is, this is one of those movies where it also came out in limited release. Yes, so, that too. It, so, like, I never, if, if, even if, I do want to see it. I'm sorry. Yeah. But it, it only came to, like, two theaters in the area. And yeah. one of them is all the way, I mean, it's closer to you, but all the way out in Alexandria. And gotcha. I, like, but I've really, um, one, Greg Berlanti, if y'all didn't know, he he is an out gay man. That and, too. Uh, he's, he is very proud of who he is. And, like, yeah. this is, he really wants to portray it in the correct light because yeah. you know it, it needs to be shown and, yeah. and it also needs to be shown um, how difficult um, it is for some young men and some young women and some uh, uh, all of any gender in between that that mm -hmm. you know it's hard to be it can, can hard to be it come out make this your pride month must do go watch this film I can't wait to see it I, I'm really excited it's, and yeah. it got amazing reviews yeah. and I just, I'm so excited to see it so check it out Awesome film, and shout out to Nick Robinson, who's an awesome dude as well. Seems like a fun mix of good old Christian movie, gay movie! <laughs> I didn't even notice I did that. Oh my god, that is awesome. Okay, there we go. I love it. I love it. I totally thought about doing that. No, I didn't, but that's awesome. <laughs> Seriously. Um, for the kiddies! Now let's go to the kids. Um, Sherlock Gnomes, when garden decor starts going oh, missing. I kind of want to you said you've seen the, sh the gnomes. I saw the original one. I didn't see this one. Nomeo and Juliet. I kind of want to see this This one. is the sequel. Um, Nomeo, voiced by James McAvoy. Juliet, played by Emily Blunt. And their colorful friend, crew of friends enlists uh, Detective Sherlock Gnomes, uh, played by Johnny Depp. And Watson, played by Chiwetel Ejiofor. 
Uh, it's a sequel to Nomi and Juliet. Uh, voice, class in, voice cast includes Maggie Smith, Michael Caine, Mary J. Blige, Stephen Merchant, and it features uh, original songs by Elton John and Bernie Toppin. It, interesting mix, um, but I'm gonna check it out. I, I, I know. I, no, I, I, it was just okay, but you know. They, they, I've been actually told some pretty good things by family and friends, and we literally have people like staring at us in the doors and windows, and it's terrifying. I'm just telling you yeah. this right now. We have been closed for hours. Yeah. Anywho, they want their comics, but they're not gonna. Have to, <laughs> but they're, they're, gonna wait they're watching tomorrow. us because they're like, let us in. <laughs> um, anywho, uh, I like. I I've actually heard some not great things. Like I've heard like it's a really fun like plane movie. Like you you watch it on the plane and you just. If you want to just relax oh, yeah. and enjoy yeah. the movie. Yeah, like, yeah. And, um, it's cute. It's, and I kind of want to... This one seems like it's funnier than the first. Like, the, like just from the trailer. And the music, from what I understand, because I, I think some of the music was nominated, too. Really? Well, for, like, awards last year. So, okay. I'm, curious. I'm curious. I'm curious. Mighty Blige is in it. And they got Johnny Depp. Man, look at this cast. Johnny Depp is kind of in hot water with me, but, you know. It's, yeah, it's, 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 I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> burning. Burning meme. It's fine. So Sherlock Gnomes, check it out. Something to watch with the kids. And get that out of here. Um, you like your staple funny. I'm just, I know, I'm just putting I'm it this sorry. way. You're staple sorry. funny. Sorry. Um, for our horror fans, The Strangers, uh, the sequel to two, 2008 Strangers, The Strangers Pray at Night. Christina Hendrick plays the matriarch of a family of four on vacation who stop at an isolated trailer park for the night where they're antagonized by three mass murderers. Uh, yeah. There's more about it, but who knows? That there's some actors I, I, you don't I, really know. I don't. So, I didn't see the first. One. I didn't see the first one either. But hearing that it's the 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 concept sounds cool. This the first one sounded cool too. Um, I just haven't found the time. You know, The Hills Have Eyes was also was also an interesting film, and the second one was also not worth seeing. So just throwing that out there. But I have to say, the plus the man to me, Christina. Well, yeah, the male female too, because I know I got a lot of lady friends that like her too. Christina Hendricks. Yeah. You know, she doesn't do it for you. No. Look, I know I'm a little bit on the on the hey. like the gay side, but come on now. She's kind of hot. Kind of hot. Redhead. And she's kind of a big girl too. You know, it's more to love. More of uh, That's the thing. Don't don't matter the size, baby. Yeah. Next film out. So I'm going to check out Strangers. I already saw this one. I okay. I enjoyed it. Did you enjoy it? Get, talk about it. All right. Here we go. It. Tomb Raider, Lara Croft, Alicia Vikander. Oh my God. God, I love me some Alicia Vikander. Investigates the disappearance of her adventure father, Dominic West, who is also a cool guy who works with him on The Wire, by following him to a mysterious island with help. It's basically the game. If you, if you play the it's game, the, they did a the great first adaption. of the reboot. And it's Daniel Wu, reboot. who you like into the Badlands, was in it as well, and who is awesome. I wish he, they would have gave him more time and developed that relationship. That's the one that thing I did like with them. did not give that relationship. When, when did they? I wanted more. Did you, did you not want them to hook up? I really fucked. I kind of wanted them to do it like on the boat, and like it'd be a huge mistake. And then they'd be like, "Yeah, this is definitely going to be a future thing." For I'm right saying, now. right? I'm saying, right? So, anyway, I enjoyed. I enjoyed the movie. And you know what I've been meaning to do, and I completely forgot, but now this reminded me. The soundtrack was dope. Oh my I god! I need to download that soundtrack. So, um, like the chase scene on the bikes. I wanted that song. The opening track in the beginning of the film was dope too. There's some cool stuff. The trick when they're boxing. Too. Was, that, was, there's some cool music in there. I, I, I enjoyed say, it. I will say this. I, so I, I enjoyed it. I, I hope that for the second one, because they did, they have announced a three a trilogy. Yes. So we'll see how it works. Um, the first like half took three quarters of the film, and the last half took a quarter of the film. That's true. And like it, it, it seemed to get. It, there was a, there was some unevenness, and I yeah. I would have liked to have seen the actual action a lot more because she she grew up really really fucking fast, and yeah. it was too fast. I agree. Um, but I, I really liked it, and you know what? For all of y'all who hate on the fact that she does not have the big boobs of the original Tomb Raider game, fuck all of y'all. I'm with you. She is she she is an amazing Lara Croft, and yeah. I am, and she's also you know she's young. This is supposed to be before she goes to college, which happens in the second game. And like, it's, I'm really excited to see where this is going to go. And I'm hoping that the very, very minor things that bugged me about this film, I hope they get it in the second one. And then that, that, that'll clear it all up. Yeah. I'm with you. And, but I also got to shout out, because if, if, if they were looking for the big boob, Angelina Jolie, I've met her in person. She really isn't, but she's also beautiful too. So anyway, I love her. I, she's anyway. one of the, I, and I love those, the old ones too. Although the old, they, they the, the original, better. the original one was better. The second one was shit. Yeah. But I'll say, and yeah. random tangent, Angelina Jolie, she's one of those people where I told her I was hoping that I didn't like her, I, that she was a terrible person because I did not want a reason to like her. 
Like she, so she was doing a signing thing, and so I, she was like the oh, one you, of the. What you meet her at? Uh, it was I don't remember. I was a kid, but it was okay. one of those where it's like she was there, and I I was like fourteen or fifteen, and I was uh -huh. literally. What like was the film that made you fall in love with her? What, what did oh you no, I like I. There was one of those where it's like I always knew she was a good actress, uh -huh. but she just seemed like one of those people that was like bitchy and like she knew she was pretty oh, like no. to me, and so like I literally walked up to her. I don't remember what it was, and she was just like one of the nicest people that was ever out and, and not like fake nice like a lot yeah. of people are when they're doing these signings like yeah. she was just she seemed like a genuinely nice person and I'm like I looked at her I was like I was really hoping that I wouldn't like you like it was it was that type. she's just too nice of a person but also go see Tomb Raider and the old Tomb Raider just they're yeah. lots of fun she's awesome I worked with her on Salt where she was oh, like yeah. a, that assassin type thing I had to avoid movie. yeah I actually I didn't even really watch it um, I worked on the film. I was uh, where she's running across like the lanes of traffic. Yeah. I had to avoid hitting her with my car because I, I was a stunt. I did stunts on that film. Sweet. And then I worked in another scene where we, uh, where she was like coming out of the building. You, you've seen salt or whatever. But Matt, very sweet person. But I wanted to give her food because she was so skinny and a gust of wind, I think, would make her fly away because she was just so skinny. Like, she's still I wanted like, to give I mean, her like, some they, food. That poor. Yeah, she, yeah. She's, she's got, she, she's one of those. Poster children of um, health issues, of, well, of, not... of, of eating disorders at one yeah, point. Yeah, exactly. If, if you have a child that, you, you know, she is one of those people that she will talk about her eating disorders. With. Yeah. So, I, but I love her, love her so much. Angelina okay. Jolie, and also, uh, also out on Blu-ray DVD, a couple of animes, Akashic Record, uh, Akashic Record of Bas Records of Bastard Magic Instructor. The complete series is out on Blu-ray. It's a fun series if if you have time, you can. You remember? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, Berserk season two on Blu-ray and from Netflix Voltron Legendary Defender seasons one and two are on DVD. I haven't seen second season two and season three has already been out too and I, I've not gotten to it. I think I tried it but I didn't have time. Time? Where's time? Um, for gaming there's really not a lot of games coming out. We have one game coming out um, but it's all E3 news this week so go check out uh, on our channel uh, our reaction trailers to all the best of E3 2018 with me and Heather. Um, she's wrong I'm right. Um, <laughs> We agree on like everything, so I'm just we, telling you this. We do. I'm messing we, with We have that. a really big problem. Fuck Trump. Fuck Trump. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Literally just handing it. Literally. Um, so the one big game to capitalize, leading us into what's coming out in theaters, Lego: The Incredibles is available this Friday um, digitally. Um, so uh, go to your Xbox uh, game store. Go to your P PlayStation game store. Uh, Lego: The Incredibles. Uh, so basically, the Lego games are fun, good for the whole family. I do it with my daughter all the time. So once you're done watching the movie theaters, continue your Incredibles experience with Lego Incredibles. I can't. I think that's what I'll do. I, I love. I, I love, love the Lego, Lego games. games. They are so yeah. much fun, and the Lego movies are great. If you are one of those adults who thinks that these are kids' games, you are so wrong. I have played the Harry Potter games like fourteen thousand times. Like they are so much. Seriously, fun. like I can't say that enough. Seriously, they are fun for the whole family. And that's the Lego movies are a little bit wonky. Like yeah. I, I'm, I'm kind of like I don't know if I want to see the the Lego two film and like in theater, mm -hmm. but it's one of those where it's like. The Lego movies are, I wasn't the only, John and I were not the only adults without children going to see that film. Yeah, like, yeah. Play the Lego games, guys. They're so much fun. A lot of fun. So check it out. Continue that. So going to the tra uh, to theaters, um, we'll start, uh, we already said it. Incredibles 2 drops. Super excited. Um, Bob Parr, Mr. Incredible, is left to care for Jack Jack while Helen, Elastigirl, is out saving the world. Uh, everybody's back. Craig T. Nelson, Holly Hunter, Samuel L. Jackson, Sarah Vall, Huck Miller, Brad Bird, director. We've been waiting for this forever. We're finally getting it. It's the actual Fantastic Four film that we've been waiting for. It's, it's the real. <laughs> it's the real Fantastic Four. So, Incredible 2. Who's not seeing it this weekend? Totally. Not me. I'm sorry. I can't. And actually, I can't either. I have some I have family in town, and my daughter's recital got but, a lot of stuff going. But but you shouldn't see it. You should see it. And also, that does not mean that we are like super devastated that we're not. Because I really want. I I'm do. I'm going to a show this. I'm going to two shows this weekend, and I'm like miserable about it. I don't want to go see it so bad. Yeah, I do. Seriously, like I feel bad that I'm not seeing it. I really like. I really want to see it. the fact that I didn't pre-order midnight release tickets. Like almost made me cry. Girl, like, oh, she's... we wait we ten years for this goddamn movie. Well. No, we're 12 years. Yeah, basically. 12 years? 12 years. You are speaking my truth right now. This is why I like you, Heather. <laughs> I can't disagree. There's a problem. Um, this movie actually sounds cool. The trailer is what looks fun for it. Tag. 
Um, yeah. A small group of former classmates organized an elaborate annual game of tag that requires them travel all over the country. That requires them to travel all over the country. Whoever wrote this byline was crazy. Um, directed by Jeff Tomzik, it stars Isla Fisher, Annabelle Wallace, John Hamm, Jeremy Renner, um, the some of the guys from uh, what's what's that F other film? I forgot the dude who's in the office. The office. His name's not listed here. Um, oh yeah, what's his face? The, the actual yeah. main character. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Why is his name not character. listed on here? I can't, I can't remember his name. But sorry. basically, it was based on a true story, an epic game of tag where it just lasted forever, and it looks hilarious and awesome all at the same time, and it makes me want to do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everyone's going to be playing tag. Like everyone's just going to be like hitting each other yeah. on the way out of the theater. I I do not like Jeremy Renner. He's his head is a little far too up his ass. But <laughs> other than that. You know, say a lot of things about Rob Liefeld too, but that's all right. I'm gonna not talk about that until we talk about All Star Comic Con. Okay. Anyway, um, but it's sorry, I totally can't get it off. I'm sorry, um, but I, I'm actually this. It looks fun. This looks this. But honestly, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait to rent this. This is really? probably gonna be a red box. I, I have to admit that too. It doesn't provoke me enough to want to go buy but, but it. But it, it does sound really cool. It though. does. Like I lo I love the idea of it. Yeah. I'm sorry, I can't put twenty dollars per person for <laughs> that, this. Film. I'm, I'm saying. So sorry. Um, also out this week, Superfly. This kind of came out of nowhere for me. And literally, like, didn't they just start doing the trailers like last yeah. week? Yeah. The movie is a remake of the 1972 black exploitation film Superfly. That's directed by Director X. That's his name. That's actually on here. Trevor Jackson, Jason Mitchell, Lex Scott Davis, Jennifer Morrison. Um, I saw the trailer. It's based out of Atlanta. It's a new version of Superfly. Hair is really nice and. Awesome, oh, it's super and it fly. features my guy from uh, who played uh, in the NWA movie. I think that's Jason Mitchell, who was also in uh, another movie that I loved. Um, damn, that I can't forget. It was up for a bunch of awards. We've got, we've got a couple but, more minutes here. Go ahead, keep going. So uh, yeah, Superfly. Are you gonna check it out? <laughs> Probably <Probably's> not. not. <laughs> yeah. It'll be a rental for me. So, Superfly is a fun movie. If you've never seen it, go go go. Find the original it or this one? <laughs> Obviously. I've never seen this one, Obviously. but the original was pretty interesting. Like I, I think I don't the, think I've ever saw the original. The original was one of those films that, like, if you're a film fan, you should yeah. go watch Superfly. Okay. Because it's it was one of those that I think that kind of, it, I think that it's really what made um, black exploitation black exploitation. Like mm -hmm. that's what Superfly is to me. Okay. So curious what they're gonna do with that. Uh, I'm gonna do these next two real quick because um, I just thought it was interesting and why I wanted to brought up they're in limited release. Going back to you know films that are in limited release, Gotti. Uh, it's a biopic of John Gotti, uh, and it's going to be played by John Travolta as the, the signature character. Okay. Uh, and uh, Loving Pablo, uh, about Pablo Escobar, and that's going to be played by uh, Javier Bardem as Pablo Escobar. I, I, saw, I saw the trailer for that. That's so, actually, that's, I'm actually very curious to see that. That'd be one of those where it's like, I wouldn't see it in the theaters. I would see it like yeah. the moment it hit Hulu. Yeah. Because like, it's the, that's one of those movies. It's it's a lot like, um, it's going to, I talked about this in, in on the uh E3 thing where it's mm -hmm. uh, The Love of Spock it came out in theaters and it came out on Hulu or on Netflix at the exact same I think yeah. that one is the same way it's, yeah. so it's I mean go support a movie but I yeah. think it's I would rather so watch would it you want to see uh, do you like that they're taking like these historical characters but it's always crime bosses and, well those are the interesting because the, stories because they're the only cool people on this planet really <laughs> seriously I say that facetiously. Um, <laughs> Javier Bardem. I, like I can kind of see. I don't like Javier Bardem. But the one I'm curious, John Travolta is John Gotti. I don't know if I want to see that. Hi, John. <laughs> I don't know. So John those are curious. what's out in theaters. Let us know your comments below and what you're seeing or, and or not. And or if every, you're running every, Everyone will be watching The Incredibles, yeah. we know, but you can say it down there anyway. Yeah. But those that didn't get a ticket are probably going to go see those. Well, there's other good movies that are out there. We're all going to cry as we read your comments. It's yeah. Cool. <laughs> All right, these are the events this week. If you don't want to be in the theaters and you want to get out amongst the people, um, we're, this is what's happening in your area, possibly. Uh, June, 15th, <laughs> June 15th to the 17th, All-Star Comic Con here in our Northern Virginia area. Um, All-Star Comic Con. Uh, I'm one of their guests. I'll be there. And maybe Heather will be there, too, hopefully maybe on yeah, Sunday. Sunday. Maybe. Um, I talked to Michael. I thought he was going to be. Yeah. So All-Star Comic Con, they've got quite a few guests, but it's changed because some people had different things going on. So I don't even know who's going on there. Besides myself, I'll be there. Um, but it should be a lot of fun. And we have friends that are there, so we're going to show love. It's the, a lot of our area coming together, so it's always a fun time. Mm -hmm. So check that out. Um, June 13th to the 17th as well uh, in the Origins Game Fair. If you're in the Greater Columbus Convention, it's at the Greater Columbus Convention Center, uh, Columbus, Ohio. So if you're looking for a good time in the Columbus area and you're into games, Origins Game Fair. 
Um, if you're in Denver, Colorado. Uh, June 15th to 17th, Denver Comic Con is taking place at the Colorado Convention Center. I was just there. I'm sorry. I missed it. And you know what? I'm throwing up these posters up so you'll actually see on the screen who's coming there. So there you go. Check it out yeah. if you're not aware. Uh, Galactic Con is going down uh, at the Columbia Comic Con. Uh, oh, it used to be known as the Columbia Comic Con. So Galactic Comic Con. June 16th, to Saturday. Go there. And Eternal Con... Uh, June 16th to the 17th. I think that's in PA. Those are all your events, people. Also, Heroes Con is this weekend. Is it? Did Heroes I totally Con. forget about Heroes Con? I will be there on Friday. And not as a guest in any shape, way, or form. But I will be there because I will be nerding over Wes Craig, who does not usually come over to this part of the continent. And I will be crying about deadly class. Are you serious right now? I, I am so 5,000% serious. OMG, Heroes Con is one of my favorite cons to go to, people, and I just totally just like, yeah. He, he literally dropped the paper on it. Dropped, you know what? Heroes Con, if I had a choice, of where I would go. <laughs> sorry, love you all, All Star. I'm proud to be a guest, happy to be a guest. But I would be at All Star, well, that's, that's, I mean, at Heroes Con. That's one of the biggest complaints is, hey, uh, Michael, I like, I, I'm really excited to go to um, All Star. Push it a week next year because, like, it cannot, like, Heroes. Heroes, Heroes Con is the one of the best. If you're, to me, the two true comic book conventions, shows, it's Baltimore Comic Con and Heroes Con. It's true. Those it's are, true. if you're an American comic book fan, those are the shows you want. Because those, all the people that are in the industry go to those shows. You go to, you go to Heroes. If you want to meet the people who create the books, you go to Heroes. And then if you want to then go and buy books, you go to Baltimore. Like that's... I think both. I think both. Get, I think, they get the uh, same amount of the true creators in the business. But, but Baltimore is really good with like small time indie, whereas like yeah. if you you cannot go oh, down yeah. the list in Heroes Con and not find fifteen people that That's have true. big huge books from DC yeah. and Marvel. And I will say as well, you get the uh, the people that are working in the production animation departments at your studios in Hollywood. You find them at Heroes Con. That's what I will say. Separates from Baltimore is the people working in the the production departments, animation departments from Disney. In, down in Florida to LA, they come out to Heroes Con. It's Heroes they, Con. You get true creators at Heroes Con, and, and it's cheap, guys. Um, I think it's like fifty bucks or sixty yeah. bucks for the entire weekend. But like, I'm only the going cosplay's on... killer too. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, here's where we agree to disagree. This is where we, we agree a lot. That's, that's, but... <laughs> it, uh, well, but it's it's one of those where it's like if you if you have a couple bucks and you're rolling, like I'm driving down there for six hours. Literally to you're be driving there for, down there on Friday. Yeah, I'm, I'm Thursday night. I'm driving, oh. and it's a six hour drive from here. Like it is one thousand percent worth a six hour drive. You're driving to, for West Craig. For West That's Craig, how much yeah, you like I, lo him? I love West Craig. I'm sorry, it's I wow. love Deadly Class is like super. I mean, I, I explain yeah. this Deadly Class is like really important to me. Yeah. But it's like it's one of those where it's like creators that only go to San Diego and yes. only go to New York. Yeah. They come to Heroes yeah. because it's such a good show. Um, the panels are. Eh, yeah. but the parties, image, oh, the true. image creators, uh, the sex criminals, I don't think there's going to be one this year, but there's usually a huge sex criminals party on Saturday night. Yes, I did say sex criminals party on Saturday nights. <laughs> Get your head right out of that gutter. I got lit last, man. I have fun down there. It's so much fun. Anyway, um, so, but if you're, if you're here, definitely go to All Stars. This is their second yeah. year. So, yeah. Well, it's their first year, but they had a year, the first a year. different name. Yeah. For a second year. Yeah. <laughs> so those are the events happening this weekend. Anything else going on here at the Amazing Comic Shop? Any sales? Well, or uh, what's the next book club that's happening? Next book club is uh, June twenty second. We're gonna be talking Gotham Academy, so the uh, volume one, not volume two, volume one. And um, we will have it here on sale for twenty percent off all month. You do not need to be a subscriber, so come here, grab a copy copy of the volume. Um, we will be talking about it six thirty to eight thirty on June twenty second. Other than that. Nothing big. It's the it's summer's almost here. Kids are out of school as of, officially as of this week. So yeah. starting next week, bring your children lens here. Don't don't drop them off because you do need no. to be here. No. But some summer them, reading material. Give them some summer reading, and that's the thing. It's check your summer reading list, guys. And this goes to anybody across the country. Comic book shops, comic book graphic novels. A lot of them are on your children's reading list. Yeah, we have them in. Honestly, it's you. You're missing out if you don't come to your comic, local comic book shop and check out the kids' graphic novel collections and see because your kids can use them, like legitimately can use them. Totally, highly recommend March. Check that one out. Just got smile, my smile is a really good one. I know that oh, a yes. lot of kids read it, but yeah, and actually, James. I was talking about Nancy Drew as one of the Dynamite comics, but the, they actually have some graphic novels too that were That's put out that uh, my daughter loves those, and uh, actually loves too. I think this because the smiles, you brought smiles, I forgot. Whoever's doing that is uh, also ghosts. doing the Nancy Drew stuff. 
she may have done a couple. Uh, yeah. uh, Renee. Renee Tell Tell, tell, tell to my ear. Yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah, the right. name's kind of wild to say. But, uh, she, Love her stuff. But she also does the Nancy Drew stuff. Raina just, she actually came out with a newer book last year. Ghost, it was on, I don't think it oh, made yeah, it to, I don't yeah. think it made it to summer reading list last year, but it will, it should be on this year. So once again, check your summer reading list. Come to your local comic book shop. Celebrate. Yes. So yeah. Cool. Do it. Good stuff. A lot of fun stuff happening. Um, we will be back here the week after next. We'll be back at Pain and Visions next week. So before we go, or why don't you tell them weeks, how they maybe. can. Oh yeah, that's right. We have stuff. Stay tuned. You'll see. We'll see. We'll be uh, back. We'll have fun again because we have fun. You, you laughed way too hard. We know. You did laugh. We know. Heather, tell them how they can find you online and how they can find the shop and everything. Um, my name is Heather and I am on. <laughs> Sorry. That's just failed. Real... All right. Uh, it's going to like people. <laughs> it's really late. I haven't eaten. Um, I am at following films on the Twitterverse. Um, you can also follow us at Amazing Comics VA um, and Painted uh, Painted VNS. Visions VNS. Yes. Um, or you can find us on Facebook at Amazing Comic Shop or Painted Visions. Uh, I do monitor all of those accounts. Um, so come follow us. Come come see what we are doing. We post pictures and things. Yes. Check them out. Heather is awesome. Always have a good time. What about you? Who are you? Who am I? I'm somebody. Um, I'll be at All-Star Comic Con this weekend, so shout out to them. Thank you for making me an All-Star, Michael and Kev. Um, I'll have fun, but I'll be upset that she's at Heroes Con. And I'm going to try the video on I'm trying to do the video on Sunday. So, um, PatrickStrange.com, uh, Temple Fari, Strange since 1977. The show at New Release Wednesday at the RW. That is us. Always bringing it to you. Let us know in the comments if we're doing good, if we're doing bad. Whatever, just let us know. We want to know because we... We do it. We do it for you. We do it for you. <laughs> We're out of here. <laughs> Deuces! Cut! <laughs>